Let's talk about consensual pupil constriction. Now, this is a normal reflex, and it's in fact something we want to see in our patients, but it's something that we often forget when we do our assessments. And I'm going to talk first about what we're testing and then how we do it. So we're looking at the pupils in both eyes, and we're going to be looking to see that they respond to light. Now, typical response is that they constrict. That's what we want to see. Now, we don't just test the eye that the light is in. We also test the eye the light is not in, and that's called the consensual piece. So I'm going to demonstrate this here next. And this is testing cranial nerve number three, your oculomotor nerve. So I have my, my handy light here. Um, I get these at like a Home Depot or Canadian Tire. These are police, uh, police security lights. Very bright. I find that the ones in the schools, the nursing pens are nowhere near bright enough for me. Um, so I get these ones. They're like $15 maybe. So I'm going to test this now in my right eye. And we're going to look at the right eye first. And what you'll notice is as the light shines on it, that the pupil should change size and it should get smaller. So let's test that first. You can see my pupil. I'll come as close as I can here for you. Notice what happens as the light hits the pupil. And as I take the light away, notice how the pupil enlarges again. Can you hear that bounce? That's my dog playing. And now we're going to look at the left eye, but we're going to shine the light in the right eye. So we want to make sure that both eyes are responding together. This is the consensual piece. So we already know the right eye is constricting with light. Let's look at the left eye and I'm going to shine a light in my right eye. So there we go. And then as I pull the light away, you'll notice the pupil start to enlarge again. That is a normal reflex, and that's what you want to see when you test your pupils. You always want to be checking both at the same time. Now you want to complete that process and go to the left eye as the primary. So as I look at my left eye, is my left eye pupil dilating when the light hits it? And does it go back to a larger size when the light moves away? Now let's look at the right eye and make sure it's also doing the same thing. So I'm shining the light in my left eye, but I want to look at the right pupil and moving it away. I hope that supports you in learning your consensual reflexes for testing ocular motor number, cranial nerve number three, your ocular motor.